Okay, time for the tone report. Uh, you know, the guitar may look beautiful, but uh, you know, if it doesn't sound good, then what good is it? So I'm uh, standing here in the music room, got the uh, patron saints over my shoulder there, so it's all good. Uh, what I'm uh, doing for today is I'm plugged into my uh, Boss GT10 uh, multi-effects processor and then going straight into the camera uh, for a couple of reasons. Number one, I want you to hear the sound of the guitar itself uh, rather than the room. And uh, quite frankly, the GT10 sounds uh, really good nowadays and uh, I'm using it as in my A rig. So, uh, you know, it's all good. It, it works out. It sounds great out in the uh, house. Sounds great on recording. Sounds great on the stage. So, that's, that's the way I'm going nowadays. Um, also, uh, want to just uh, kind of make a plea for those people that uh, do tone demos and, uh, you know, they'll give you the sound of the guitar totally cranked through an amp. Well, the deal is you're not listening to the guitar, you're listening to the amp. And you can't, poss you can't tell a Stratocaster from a Les Paul in that situation, maybe. You know, I mean, maybe just a little bit, but you really want to hear the guitar. So that's basically what I'm doing here today. Uh, I'm, uh, let's see, what I've got going on is just a little bit of compression. I've got an amp simulation. I think it's a, uh, a twin amp simulation. A little bit of compression, a little bit of reverb. And so here's what the guitar really sounds like. Get a good idea, okay? So uh, let's start out with the uh, neck pickup. Oh, and uh, let's see, I'm using a Red Bear Big Jazzer pick for the train spotters in the audience, and you know who you are. Uh, and the pickups on the guitar are S22J and S22B, uh, and I know that some people uh, don't like a, the sound of a covered pickup. I personally just love it. I think they sound great. Uh, and I like the uh, I like the aesthetics of it a little bit better. I think it looks a little cleaner than to have all the bowl pieces hanging out. Totally per personal preference there. You know, whatever works for you is great. Okay, so what I'm going to do is to play uh, some open chords here, just so you get an idea about how the guitar rings. <laughs> Again, that's neck pickup in humbucking position. I'm going to kick on a little chorus here so you get an idea. It sounds pretty good with some of that chorus in there too, doesn't it? Okay, let's move on and let's go to uh, both pickups here. We'll play those open chords again so you get a comparison. Lot of nice sparkle to the top end there. Let's kick in that chorus. Yeah, yeah. That works pretty well. Okay, let's go to the bridge pickup here. Top end bite, little chorus. Works pretty well. Okay, let's uh, go back and talk about uh, the split coil sounds. Uh, normally, what happens uh, on uh, on these guitars is that uh, both pickups are in the humbucking position. But if you pull up on the tone control, then it splits and so you've only got a single coil going on. So here is the uh, neck pickup. That's in the humbucking position. We'll pull it up and split the coil. A little more sparkle to it. And the nice thing about these uh, carbon pickups is they split really nicely. A lot of pickups, uh, when you split them, they get real kind of thin. Uh, these stay very robust. They, you get that top end sparkle, but uh, 
They sound good, okay, again to humbucker. And back to the split coil. Nice feature. Okay, let's go to both pickups in the uh, split coil position. Some good top edge to that. Let's go to the bridge pickup. I just looked over here, one of my Stratocasters just gave me a dirty look when I did that. <laughs> let's, uh, let's do all those positions with the uh, chorus on. Neck pickup. Both pickups. to the bridge pick up there. Yeah. And something that's kind of nice, I don't know if any other manufacturers do this, but Carbon certainly does, that when you are in the split pickup position and you have both pickups on, they become a humbucker. So that's really nice. It gives you a lot of different flexibility, a lot of different tone combinations. Okay, so let's go back to the humbucker on the neck and let's dirty it up a little bit here, give you some uh, sounds that are more middle of the neck, a uh, little more uh, Hendrixy type stuff. <laughs> sound there. Let's go to both pickups, same lick. Some nice growl there. Let's go down to the bridge pickup here, do that same lick. That's pretty nice. Let's give you a little bit of chorus on that same thing. That's a neck pickup on chorus and a little bit of crunch. Both of them. Let's go to the bridge. Pretty darn good. Uh, let's take that chorus off and let's do a couple of uh, little single notes, uh, single note solo E lines like. Kind of keep it in that Hendrix mode. both pickups. Let's go to the bridge. Okay, let's go back and let's split the neck pickup. The Stratocaster just gave me a dirty look again. Uh, let's go to both pickups. Down to the bridge. So, 
that's running through pretty much uh, all of the basic stuff there. Again, it's a uh, Carbon uh, CT6 with uh, S22J and S22B pickups. Uh, I love the combination. I love the feel of this guitar. Uh, I love the sound of it. I had my uh, first rehearsal with it just earlier this morning, um, and it sang for me just like I hoped it would like my other Carbons do. It's, uh, it's a beautiful guitar. Um, this one's a keeper. This one's this one, Lily, is a keeper, definitely for sure. Okay, that's pretty much it as far as the tone report. Thanks for watching the whole video. If you hung with me the whole way through, congratulations. Uh, you don't get any uh, monetary prize or anything like that. But I hope hope you've enjoyed uh, uh, you know the fun that I have with these. And uh, also remember that the uh, ten things that matter the most as far as tone you carry with you all the time, right? Of course, having some of these really helps, but it's the tone is in the fingers. Music comes from the heart, not from the guitar. Uh, so thanks for watching. I'm going to start rocking on. See you later.